Hello everyone, namaste. This session is on interview skills. Today I will tell you about the types of interview. I will give you some tips how to face a job interview. What kind of questions are asked in the interview? I would also discuss some questions with you. So in a way, this session is very, very important. Because all of you are pursuing your qualification just to seek a job. Maybe a few of you must be thinking about becoming entrepreneur. That's a different thing. But those who are looking for working with some good company, for them, this topic is of great importance. And uh, you must be aware of what kind of etiquettes what kind of thing you need to you know observe in yourself when facing an interview what we will cover types of interview including video face to face skype telephone types of questions and how to approach them preparing for interview and handling nerves questions all these things we would be discussing By the end of this session, you will be able to approach interviews more confidently and may even start to look forward to them. What concerns do you have about interviews? Why have an interview? Interviews are designed to find out, can you do the job? It means what? The interviewer tries to look into you, what skills you possess, and what about your experience. Will you do the job? In order to continue with the job, you need motivation. Do you fit in? For getting fitted into some system, you need to be well versed with the culture, and you need to have cooperative behavior. You need to be nice with team members. Types of interview. Find out what type of interview you are having. One to one. Panel interview. Telephone interview. Video interview. Skype interview. It could be one to one interview. It could be panel interview. There must be many interviewers judging you. And there may be, there might be one person judging you. It could be telephonic interview. It could be video interview. It could be Skype interview. Interviews can include selection test, presentations, case studies, technical interview. They might ask you some questions based on your behavior and IQ level and the field in which you are. Video interview. Arrangements for interview are scheduled. A tutorial is generally provided by the company. It consists of certain instructions which you have to follow. You use webcam as I'm doing it just now and the interview goes on. Between four to 15 questions related to the job they ask. Typically the candidate will have to answer the questions in 30 seconds. I mean 30 seconds are there for reading the questions and uh, two minutes are there for responding to each question. Interview can be excelled you can do well in the interview only when you practice it. You see, in video interviews, you have a challenge because you face the camera and there are people who are afraid of facing the camera. So it's about facing the camera. That's why you need uh, to practice it, practice it harder because uh, when you face the camera, you, you know, feel uh, 
lack of confidence and you feel like that you won't be able to do it nervousness creeps in that is why practice is very much required here technical preparation you need to check your internet your phone signal the room should be quiet there should not be any kind of interruption desk or table is needed microphone is needed lighting is needed and uh, you need to set your camera camera position also you have to see and then uh, before uh, you go for the interview you need to have a test call so that you can ensure that everything is on track telephone interviews screening principles akin to applications you have to check your uh, system your mobile phone network network is to be checked maybe network is a problem so just ensure that you have sound network so that you can you know uh, say your things properly he can hear you properly she can hear you properly and uh, you talk about your personality your interest and it goes uh, for about 20 to 50, 25 minutes types of questions they ask motivational questions competency based questions strength based questions technical questions and general questions these are the types my audio is clear to everyone is my audio clear to everyone yeah it is clear okay thank you very much so uh, motivational questions they can ask competency based questions they can ask and uh, they ask certain questions on uh, your strength and your you know technical aspect and there are some general questions also they test your behavior to they try to check your attitude to excuse me sir yeah so i want to ask you a question okay please ask sir in competency based question which types of questions are in there you see in competency competency based questions are generally the questions which are based on the specialization you are having you are a person of commerce right sorry so, sir i can't hear voice uh, i'm saying you are a person of commerce yes sir right yes sir so you are with certain subjects there yes sir okay. yes sir specialization based questions are actually competency based questions okay sir getting my point motivation yes, question they ask some motivational questions to check your life style okay sir you see kajal i want to share one thing here yes sir job is controlled by skill will and attitude right if you have the right yes. attitude how to check your attitude they check your attitude by asking certain motivational questions what do you do to motivate yourself yes sir they might ask this question okay yes sir they might uh, know about your daily routine when you get up when you sleep what time you study right they might certain uh, they might ask you questions on your behavior maybe what kind of behavior you possess so to these And types of question are come in motivational questions these come uh, see motivational questions are basically the questions which are based on your lifestyle okay sir right. answer competency uh, questions which types of questions are questions, there questions which are based on your specialization okay and if you are a okay. technical person if you are a technical yes, person sir. then they ask some yes, technical sir. questions experimental questions maybe right for example yes, you are sir. a person of science if you are a person of science they would ask you some question based on some experiments science. ah experiments. and those questions are called technical questions general questions could be about your behavior about your attitude okay sir got it strength based they ask some questions on your strength also let me give you an example okay sir suppose the interviewer ask you a question that is what is your strength got it A very simple yes, question. What is your strength? And suppose you say confidence is my strength. Yes, sir. If you say confidence is my strength, then you are giving a very big range to the interviewer 
he can ask any question from anywhere okay. mind it when you are answering the questions your answers should be logged log okay, means sir. you should answer in such a way that you are not inviting some more questions on it because what happens when you give some answer the interviewer frames the questions from your answer only okay sir so the moment you say confidence is my strength you yes, have given yes, a sir. big range to him now i i give you one more example right let me okay, give you sir. one more okay sir okay sir today you are taking interest that's why i'm giving more examples <laughs> right one okay, more sir. example okay sir suppose the interviewer ask you yes sir who's your favorite personality right okay sir you answer it kajal who's your favorite personality my dad your dad yes sir suppose you say amitabh bachchan is my favorite personality your answer is correct correct in what way i will tell you later right okay sir suppose okay, you say amitabh bachchan is my favorite personality then i can ask any question on amitabh ji and you cannot be sure that you know everything about amitabh ji okay but if you say my dad is my favorite yes sir then if i ask any question on your dad and any answer you give i will have to accept why because i don't know about your father <laughs> you're getting my point yes sir i i may have a lot of knowledge on amitabh ji yes sir but i have no knowledge on your dad yes sir. i don't know about your dad so if yes. you say my dad is my favorite personality and if i ask any any question on your dad you give any answer i will accept it so you okay, have given sir. me a locked answer when you said my dad is my favorite personality so is my answer so correct or not it is correct this is what i am saying okay. your favorite personality could be anyone okay sir okay but if you are giving if you are giving me an answer which you know i know about that gentleman can you say that you know everything about amit amitabh ji or maybe sachin tendulkar no sir you cannot no. maybe i know something about amitabh ji which you don't know yes and if you say sir. amitabh bachchan is my favorite then yes sir if i ask you some question and you are unable to answer it then i will say how can you say that he is your favorite you don't know this much about him but in case yes, you say my dad is my favorite i will accept all your answers got it okay sir okay sir one more thing beta one more yes yes sir yes sir yes sir point. yes sir the interviewer might ask you a question on your answer you are a person of management right okay sir and you okay, are sir. saying that my favorite personality is my dad yes. why don't you say that my favorite personality is someone who is from the same field i mean from your specialization at that moment you can say sir my dad has got some managerial qualities and you start counting some qualities of a good manager in your dad i will accept yes that. sir yes sir you say my father is an excellent manager he does everything timely he is he is a man of time management yes sir yes sir. you start counting which qualities the qualities which are required for that particular job so i as an interviewer would feel would feel what would feel that you have really yes sir uh, this uh, specialization which you are pursuing this qualification which you are pursuing it's in your blood you are actually living with it i will feel like this because you are counting you are looking at only those qualities which are managerial it means you are having management in your blood got it yes i got it thank you sir now there are certain examples thank you sir thank purpose. you sir there are certain examples given i request swati and the other students also to raise questions whenever they want to ask something why are you interested in this role now certain examples are given 
this is called motivational question why are you interested in this role now you show your passion in it that i have passion for this role for this position that's why i am applying for it what interest you about this company you can start counting some qualities of that company you can say that your company is one of the best and your company has this much turnover and your company has set various records that's why i am very much interested in your company what interest you about this career they might ask you this use past behavior indicates future success this thing you use past behavior indicates future success when you are giving the answers you have this statement in your mind that past behavior indicates future success follow this is about competency based question objective way of comparing you to others relate to skills and behavior needed for the role skills naturally you are applying for a managerial position you are a person of management then you would be counting which is skills managerial skills you would be talking about managerial behavior so you just show that you have got those skills you have that kind of behavior which is needed for this role interviewers decide beforehand which type of answers score positive points they look for a structure minded they want answer in brief and step wise use real scenarios don't be imaginary in your answers use the facts competency based questions can you give me an example when you had to solve a problem obviously problem from your site from your specialization describe a time when you had to explain something complex in simple terms give me an example of a time you worked in a team what was your role tell that technical questions how much re use do you get out of the code that you develop and how technical question this is from someone uh, who is uh, of it or cs which do you prefer service oriented or batch oriented solutions strength based questions competencies can be defined as what you can do strength are what you really enjoy doing what are you good at what comes easily to you what do you learn quickly what did you find easiest to learn at school or university what subjects do you most enjoy studying such questions can be asked what is your strength where you are good at what comes easily to you how do you learn quickly what enjoys you most more strength based questions what things give you energy describe a successful day you have had when did you achieve something you were really proud of do you prefer to start task or to finish them do you find you have enough hours in the day to complete all the things you want to do these are strength based questions anticipating questions identify the competencies for the job you are seeking this you need to do everybody pay attention company website you visit see the advertisement job descriptions all these things you identify you gather the information about the company get to know what profile is there which profile they are looking for job descriptions and all so that you can prepare yourself well compare these against your background where you stand where you are and what does company expect from you the gap should not be there if the gap is not there you will get selected find your best example for each and prepare this in advance keep the answer concise your answer should be short if you give lengthy answer they will create some questions from there right so give the long answers and give the brief answers answering questions give answers structure means uh, to the point yeah explain the anticipating based questions once more 
anticipating questions refer to those questions which are based on company and job descriptions for example for example if yes, i offer you this job today what you are going to do first I'll... if i offer you this position what are you going to do first to tell it why have you chosen this company and if you say this company is my favorite one then the interviewer might ask you okay if it is your favorite one for how much time you are going to be with us swati you are getting yes sir for how much time you are going to be with us how long would you stay with us what answer will you give eight hours you cannot say i am i'm going to be with you for two years only <laughs> or three years only or as long as you give me good salary you simply say sir everybody is working for name fame and money right as long as i satisfy you as long as you satisfy me as long as you are satisfied with my work as long as i am satisfied with the culture of the company we are together okay got it swati yes sir what is what is more important money or uh, money or job money or work work if you say work is more important then the interviewer might say if work is more important for you let me give you less salary would you be comfortable with that no you are choosing work so let me give you minimum salary are you fine with that no sir or not and if you say money then i would say you are applying for this position for the first time this is your first interview and yes. you are asking for money it means you are money minded so what answer will you give there my capabilities i'll be getting the salary you simply say work is money sir work is money work is money means if i do well you give me good money if i don't do well you can take me out of the company you can terminate me work is money good work good money if you do not do well if you do not work well you will be out of the company you give a diplomatic answer there okay sir all right so anticipating okay. questions are about future aspects if given an opportunity to work with us what will you do first think okay. don't say i will have a party i will organize a party and i will give you a party something like that no sir you say i will try to check try to check check what the system which is required for me to work in this role this is a very good task so when giving the when giving the answers of the questions mind it your answer should be structured and do not ramble rambling you understand hesitation hesitation sometimes uh, we see candidates hesitating you should not ramble you should not repeat the things you should not hesitate while giving the answers define the context define the context means when you say i am good at something you need to prove it if you say i am a good leader how can you say you are a good leader you need to give some example from your life right you can say that on such and such occasion i led the team and i did like that give some example there context must be there be prepared with specific answers answers should not be lengthy answers should be in limit if you give lengthy answers then there would be trouble for you you have a chance to paint your portrait the 
means what? You have a chance to show what you are. Interview gives you an opportunity to show your caliber. Don't be afraid to ask for a minute to think. Suppose some question is asked and you feel like that you need time to think over. You can say, sir, just a second. Let me, let me think. You cannot take much time, but you can take maybe a second or two, right? And for that, you can take the request. Structure. These are the approaches top down. Start with the main point. Okay. When you give the answers, start with the main point you want to get across and then expand, expand it with some detail. For example, he asks you about your best managerial quality and you say, I'm a good leader. Fine. It's the main point. I'm a good leader. How you are a good leader, you tell them. Expand it with some detail. Number your points. Number your points. Suppose you are giving an answer where you have to say four or five things to explain it. Then you can say, for example, I have three points to make. There are three things in it. First thing is this. Second thing is this. Third thing is this. So you number the points there. For example, if you ask me, sir, what are the three most important qualities of a leader? Then I would say number one is this, number two is this, number three is this. I have to number the points. Leader must be inspirational. Leader must act like facilitator, not like boss. And leader must be aware of the system, system in which he or she has to work. Star. What is this a star? Let me explain this. Situation. Give a context by describing the situation. Task. What was your goal? While explaining, while giving the example, first of all, you give a context by describing the situation. What was your goal? What was your task there? You tell them. Then action. Tell the interviewer about your specific actions, what you did there. And then results. And then tell how you performed there. What was the result like? What was the result of the project? So you follow this model star situation, task, action, and result. Your turn. In groups, mark on the job description key qualities. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Sir, can you please uh, my, explain the structure? Structure again? Yes, sir, please, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I, I do so, I do so. Sir, see, that see, previous one, that top top level. Got it, got it. Yeah, got yeah, it. top down, yes. Structure, yes, sir, yes. Structure means, structure means, Kajal, when I say that your answer should be structured, it means you need to keep certain points in, in your mind while giving the answers. Got it? So yes, first sir. thing is top down. Top down means, suppose you are answering some question and five points are there. Okay. okay, sir. Okay. You need to see which one should be number one. Which one should be number two. Which one should be number three. Which one should be number four. Obviously, the best one would be number one. The best one would be number one. Why? Because maybe interview, uh, sorry, interviewer stops you when you tell this uh, second point and uh, he asks some other question. That is why you start with the best point and then you move forward. The biggest quality should be mentioned first. Okay. Start with the main point you want to get across. And then you ex explain it. If you are giving points only, then you follow this formula. Otherwise, if you're giving just one point, then you give the main point first. After that, you explain it. Got it? Yes, sir. If you are giving some points there, 
you want to share that three points are there or four points are there or five points are there then you have to number your points number one is this number two is this number three is this number four is this number five is this when you say like this number one is this number two is this number three is this number four is this then the interviewer takes you as a technical person okay sir he takes you in a different way that you are having a proper structure in your answer it's not like what is number 3 you are counting it as number 1 when you say this 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 thing is there that thing is there this thing is there that thing is there it does not give a sequence but when you say number 1 is this number 2 is this number 3 is this it gives a sequence now you got it yes sir now what is this star star model is when you are describing some situation suppose interviewer is asking you to describe some situation first of all you have to give a context by describing it you have to count some situation okay and what was your role there for example i i give you an example then only you can understand suppose you are giving the example of leadership got it all right and yes, you are using this model you say sir last year my professor gave me an assignment actually that assignment was given to five people and i was made the leader of that team situation is created yes sir what was the project like you are not telling that you can but you told what was the situation last year i got a project from my professor four people were there and i was made the captain of the team what was your goal you can tell my job was to divide the work equally guide and motivate my team members and i was responsible for finishing the task in time that was my job you have yes, told sir. your goal task okay sir Now, okay action. sir what was the action sir i followed certain formats and through those formats you know i ensured that the work was done in time i used to ask them every evening about the projection of the work got it i used to motivate them time to time and i would also counsel them while they were doing that project what was the result now you tell the result sir we were able to complete the project in time and for that my teacher applauded me and my team members understood understood yes no yes sir understood this is the way to describe the situation so use this star model got it okay let's move on your turn in groups mark on the job description key qualities skills and experience that are being sought focus on the qualities and the skills which are required for the job you are applying for what question could you ask to find out more about one of these skills or qualities in an interview this you can do in groups mock interview sessions you can hold you can sit together and you know you can have some profile in picture and uh, you can start uh, making a research on that profile what qualities are needed for uh, that profile what skills are needed what kind of experience is needed all these things now before the interview before the interview what you have to do be prepared find out about the organization and the so kind i can't hear you you can't hear me is it okay now is it okay now before the interview be prepared find out about the organization and the interviewer 
if you can come to know who is holding your interview that's not possible but if you can come to know about that gentleman who is going to interview you then it would be easy for you to assess various things you see when you know somebody's temperament somebody's nature somebody's knowledge then it becomes easy for you to you know adjust with certain things and if you know about the organization then there are certain questions asked on that organization just to know uh, whether you have interest in the organization or not so if you have visited the website of the organization if you have you know collected certain points on the organization you can easily answer those questions and you can tell that uh, you are looking for job in that organization or you can deem it as your favorite organization or maybe you can say that you always wanted to work with the, that organization okay so research on the organization and the interview rehearse your answers to typical questions with examples you can record you can stand in front of mirror and practice these are the ways you can follow rehearse your answers know your cv application inside out cv you should know what is there in your cv you should know what is there in your application because they might ask certain questions from your cv okay i i give you an example i took many interviews so i'm giving just one example here once what happened a candidate was there and i asked him a question other others were also there in the panel they were also asking questions but when i got my turn i asked him about his uh, daily routine i asked about his daily routine i said you tell me how did you pass your yesterday and then he started telling me i got up at around uh, 5:30 and then i did this i did that and in between i was asking some questions to him just to know more about how he spent yesterday he said i got up at around 5:30 i said do you get up at 5:30 every day said no he said i played for 1 hour in the evening i said do you play for 1 hour every day he said no then he said i studied uh, for 2 hours in the evening i said you study for 2 hours in the evening every day he said no sometimes it's 1 hour then i said my dear in your resume in your cv you have written that your strength is time management are you a time manager a time manager will have this kind of lifestyle he was caught so such questions are asked interviewer is very shrewd he will ask questions in such a way that the information which you have put in your resume it will be validated by your answers so know your cv research the company who are their main competitors in the market research that who are their customers who are the key players in the industry what are the hot topics at the moment hot topics concerning the product of that company the resource you could use website speak to people who work there career fairs events alumni linkedin twitter feed all these things all these resources you can use to gather these you know gather this information gather these points preparation practical preparation how to get there what to wear think over psychological preparation positive mindset and dealing with nerves you should not be stressful you should be positive initial impressions are crucial 50% body language 40% voice and 10% words mind it your body language plays a very important role 
how you are walking inside whether you are having proper eye contact with the interviewer or not how you occupy the chair how you sit how you shake hand with the interviewer all these things count through these things they judge your confidence level and how you are responding how's your voice your voice modulation also speaks about your confidence initial impressions from as soon as you walk in the building walk tall and straight be grounded before you speak make eye contact and smile shake hands say who you are clearly remember to breathe remember to breathe because when you become nervous things become different quotes from employers created poor initial impression didn't sell themselves effectively these are the quotes these are the responses which candidates receive from employers didn't elaborate on responses to questions shy couldn't discuss things they had put on their application lack enthusiasm appeared not to know anything about the organization showed no interest in either the job or the organization these are the comments these are the feedback points which candidates receive from employers when not performing well during the interview sit reasonably upright you can see this lady in the picture keep hands on hands on show maintain good eye contact keep an open posture minimize things you do when nervous speak clearly follow these instructions follow these things what do you say use examples be informative structure your answers boast modestly boast you say certain things you elaborate your point boasting is required but it should be done modestly take time over difficult questions ask for clarification if necessary how you say it. think about the words you use talk about i rather than we focus on i more than we i was like this my role was this my role was that preparation is key your questions what would an average day be like these questions you can ask from the interviewer when you get the green signal that the employer is taking interest in you and you feel like you have chances of winning over then you can ask your questions what would be an average day be like meaning working hours how would my work be mentioned and how often would i be appraised <coughs> means uh, what about my increment and all what career paths have other graduates followed in this company will i have an opportunity to use my foreign language skills if you have some foreign language skill with you will i be working in a team what is the makeup of these teams what are the company's development plans and targets over the next 5 years when am i likely to hear back from you do you support study for external qualification kajal and swati any problem no sir no sir you can stop me in between okay okay sir now you can ask your questions thank you you need not to stop me in between you can stop me right now so excuse me i have a question yeah please uh so there is no uh, assignments on portal sorry assignments don't we need to submit any assignments like assignments? last semester for for assignments you need to talk to kuljit ji okay 
Okay. Rujiji is there? He, he so is whom we so, so whom we talk? Uh, Kuljit sir. Kuljit sir is there? Yeah. And sir, what about Gurpreet sir? We cannot talk. You can talk to Gurpreet sir, and you can tell that. Uh, uh, any questions any questions no so sir how to contact although, Kuljeet, sir. although i wanted to tell you more but uh, uh, level, it is okay probably next year you uh, you should try to gather more information about the, this particular topic in this case so how do we contact to pulvit sir sorry so how to contact with pulvit sir I'll, i'll talk to him don't worry don't worry students i'll talk to him okay thank you sure sir okay i will talk to him okay thank you sir thank you so much and uh, may god bless you i believe that if you practice all these things uh, you can excel many many interviews